Hey everyone, welcome back to another clip. I just made it to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I am in front of Goodwill, but it's it's like two in one because there's a Goodwill on the left of me and right in front of me, there's a Walmart. So perfect time to, do, to hit up both stores and see what I can find. I'm gonna record myself. I'm not gonna spend too much time at the Goodwill. I'm just gonna quickly look at the sneakers, the games, and uh, I guess the electronics are considered um, um, games, but also so a few toys to see if there's any vintage toys that I can find. But aside from that, I'm gonna head up to Walmart, see the clearance section. And then from there, uh, like I said, I don't wanna spend too much time because I am time restrained. I need to go be back at home before five. Um, it's my mother's birthday and my wife and kids plus my sister and her kids we're all gonna go together and um have dinner with uh with mama dukes she's officially 64 i think she's she's 64. so guys um let's go inside and see what we can find so there's goodwill and there's walmart Oh, and there's also TJ Maxx Home Goods. Awesome. GameStop as well. Yeah. Starting to like this place already. All right, guys, so we're back here in my car. I have not stepped into Walmart yet. I just got out of Goodwill. I probably spent about a good 10 minutes in there just scanning through the stuff that I thought had potential. So let's go on with this first right here. This is an awesome find. Oh, there you go. I, I probably paid a little bit too much, but that's fine. $9.04. 47 cents. I believe they're in great condition. It's these black and lilac uh, Puma sneakers. I know these are a model that came out probably in the late 2000s. The only reason why is because, yeah, this is 2007. It's because I bought my wife a pair of these when we were dating. I had gotten her the white and black and green uh, these were pricey back then. I think I spent like about a hundred on these. So this was back in their mid to late 2000s. So I'm not sure what the comps are now, but these sneakers are in great condition. Nice black Pumas, female size six. No, that's UK. US, eight and a half. Let's go ahead. Uh, I think I recorded this. This was the... Uh, Magic the Gathering, one ninety nine for a 
Chandra deck. That card is inside the deck uh, with a few other goodies. For $2, I think the card itself is worth about $5. No, not even, more. Um, came out with another rare card. But they have some nice lands in here, there you go. She's probably worth a good penny. And then look, there's also, wow, there's a lot of rare cards here. Hmm. Hold on. Again, I paid $2 for this stuff. All these rare cards. Plus more. I don't remember seeing another rare card here. Well, either way, not bad. I saw this nice land here. Again, you guys know that I follow Magic the Gathering. I used to be a hardcore player back in uh, the, the mid-90s, late-90s. I never took it professionally, but I've always played with my friends and it was fun. All right, let me just leave this here. Put this away later. Let's move on to the next item. Now, you guys know I like look, looking at vintage items and I came across a 1996 vintage board game. Our tabletop game, Mind Trap. Kind of reminds me of Box of Alliance from Magic the Gathering. That black, purple, blue, silver hue. Very nice. Uh, these are going used around $25 to $30. Used. This is brand new sealed. However, you see that? Right there. There you go. But it's still factory sealed. So I'll pro I paid $5 for this. Probably can sell this for, I'm going to try to sell this for $40. $45. $39.99 with, because how heavy it is, $9.99 shipping. So around 50 bucks. 40 plus a $10 shipping. Yeah, around there. That's what I'm gonna do. But for $5, you can't go wrong. Now my last item is a big item. I paid $6.99 for this. It's a PlayStation 2 Guitar Hero. It has everything as you saw in my video clip it comes with a little uh adapter to plug it into the system uh, i checked the comps on this uh there there's one that's going 30 but it hasn't been tested and on the description it says the battery compartment rusted so all that battery acid dried up this i checked it's clean now uh they're going for 50 to 60 dollars is not including shipping but that's just a guitar this comes with the box so i might be able to get more for it because it comes in its original box probably 75 dollars uh, i paid six dollars for this no seven dollars right 6.99 yeah either way it was yeah seven dollars i'm not going to complain that was an awesome sale right there these four items how much did i pay $22.17, just so there's no information. And excuse my fingers, my dry fingers and dirty nails. But yeah, $22.17 for all these items. Uh, just one alone can make me $22.17 if I sell one. The cards, those magic cards, I'm not sure how much I'll probably get for these just because they're... They're not factory sealed. I don't like selling loose cards, but then again, you know what? Magic always sells. These card games always sell. Same with Pokemon. It's just that I don't get into Pokemon because I don't know Pokemon like that. I never got into it. That's just me. All right, guys. So now let me go inside Walmart and see what I can find. Peace. to uh, Goodwill here, located in the good old heart of Whitehall, Pennsylvania. Sorry if you guys can't hear me, I'm muffled because I'm wearing my mask. Let's go see what goodies they have here.